Hey everybody, I'm back again with another beer review. Um, been sort of under the weather the last few days and haven't really felt like uh, liking doing one. I'm feeling a little better, still not the best, but I'm going to do one. One I've never had, never had anything from this brewery. I'm going to do the Three Fontaine Oud Goose. I just was sort of in the mood for a goose tonight and figured I had this sitting in here for a while. This has uh, got a date on it of uh, 1st of December 2010. So it's been sitting a while. So, time to let me uh, uncork this bottle. I'm going to point it away for myself. I've heard, heard things about these, these beers. Well, can't even get the damn cage off of it. Oh, nice pop. Ton of smoke. Ton of smoke. I've heard things, people almost putting their eye out with these, so... I know you're supposed to pour half into one glass and half into another, but I'm not going to do it that way. We got a nice yellow orange beer, ton of carbonation streaming up. Uh, got a good, yeah, well, two and a half finger, big bubbles, soapy looking, uh, soapy looking, almost like <coughs> looks like dish soap. Oh, let me uh, let me get them a little more in this glass, so I can sneak in some nice lacing down the down the glass already. Um, good looking, good look, good looking goose. Get a nose on it and see what we have. Okay, get a little oak. It's almost champagne like in a way. Oh, you're getting that funkiness, sourness. A little more towards the funk than the sour. But it's a earthy, barnyardy, horsey, horse blanket type of thing. Those are all good things. Getting a little fruitiness too. A little lemon. Like sour apples, limes. But this doesn't smell as sour as I expected it to. Like I said, it's mostly towards the funkiness rather than the sourness so um, give it a taste get a little more uh, definitely more sourness on the taste fairly astringent almost got that band-aid flavor but it's a good sourness that uh, it balances that funkiness nicely here in, in the taste. Getting a little bit of oak. I think this was, uh, I think it was, was uh, aged, yeah, aged in oak. It says blended lambic beer aged in oak. A little bit from the website here. This is courtesy of uh, uh, Google Translate, so it's a little funky. But Oud Goose Three Fontaine is a completely natural honorary. Consisting of an assembly of one, two, and three year old lambic matured in oak barrels. This beggar is a natural, unfiltered beer after bottling at least six months spontaneously fermented in the bottle. Oud Goose Three Fontaines is in a stable, cool cellar for 10 years after bottling date stored. I guess that means you can store it for 10, up to 10 years. This is not, this is year and a half old, so. Um, Oudus long kept softened in terms of acidity, get, but gets more complex taste test. Comes in at six percent ABV. Got a medium body, um, very prickly carb carbonation. Now there's quite a bit of carbonation in this. Um, it's a uh, lightly puckering from the sourness, but it's nicely balanced with the funkiness. It's not as sour as. Uh, some gooses I've tasted. So let me sit and let this warm up a bit, get some more in my glass, and I'll be back after a while with the final thoughts and grade. Okay, I'm back. It's been half an hour, so I've been sitting and sipping on this, and you know, I don't, I don't know what to think. I it's not what I expected. I I was expecting a whole lot more more sour and everything. It's it's still. This is warmed up. There's a bit more sour in it, but uh, it's still mostly, it's a nice blend of funk and sour. 
Um, in the beginning, it was just it was it was funk forward rather than sour forward. It's sort of evened out now. Um, it's a good drinkable beer. I could see sitting and sitting and sipping on a on a glass of this on a nice hot steamy summer day. Definitely be very refreshing, but it was not what I was expecting, or at least not what I was hoping for. So, but it's still a decent example of the style. Um, it's a good beer. Um, I'll buy it again. Um, I'm not sure if it was this date on here is when it was released or when it was bottled. If it's been sitting in a bo bottle for a year, then it's. It's been on the shelf not all that long, but uh, I'd like to see one with a few years on it, too. Um, but I'm going to give it a good solid uh, 8 out of 10. It's a decent goose. It might be a, a good introductory goose for somebody who <coughs> excuse me, might not like the, uh, might not like the extreme t uh, tartness and sourness of some, but um, still a good beer, so 8 out of 10 for the Three Fontaine Hood Goose. Till next time, everybody, cheers and keep drinking good beer.